Feather Falls. Got a open hunt where I uh, have been stalking a certain elk who just decided to finally cooperate. Thank you. There he is. But anyway, I set up this open hunt, and uh, it's got space for one person to come along. And I figured while I was waiting for somebody to come along, I'd just do a little moseying around right around the camp here. And I have picked up a fan. They seem to be a big fan of my song. So we're going to see if we can sing them a lullaby. All right, here we go. I'm putting the smell here. And now I'm coming to here. I got good cover on his approach as a result. I can come at him from this side of that side because he's down there at that loop in the road. Give him a little something to think about. I dropped the scent a little bit behind me because I want to be interested in passing me. Ooh, yeah. See, he thinks that there's not only a female over here, but that I'm over here trying to steal his girl. So he's pissed. No doubt about that. He says, I beg your pardon? So I have to reply, I said... I'm taking your girlfriend. Sucker. Let's see if we can pick up any of his movement yet. But I've got a route that I take through here that properly done yields a lot of elk and uh like i say i like to take somebody and and go through with because sometimes the way they split off you can you can really set up a nice crossfire but he's a wily fella he's a wily fella i said your mama is funny looking And your sister. Hey, <laughs> yeah. He don't like that. Like I say, I want to pull him like he's moving past me. Because I'm hoping to take him with the bow, point blank. But he's a coming now. But anyway, welcome to Kachi's Camp. My channel here where... Uh, I not only uh, record some of my own hunting in this wonderful game, The Hunter, which is a free-to-play online simulation, but also I, I take uh, other hunters out to make sure they get their animals, and uh, this all told can be a pretty good time. There he is. How you looking? Well, you certainly aren't the school bully, but you're respectable. 80 yards out. I think I'll call him in a little closer if we can. Just drop a little fresh zap of that urine. Drop low. I'm gonna crawl up where I'm in the position that when he breasts those ferns up there, I can put it square in his chest. Here, give him a little hoot. There he is. Don't talk to me, brother. Oh, there's two of them. There you go, guys. So we got one there to the right, and that's... Oh, now, hello. You're a little, little more worth talking to. Drop a fresh hit. Bang! Come on up here, son. Come right on up here, say hello to me. 
Yeah, he's in the 500 pound range. What's his pal doing? That's right, right there. I hit him kind of far back. Normally I don't have this multi sight on here. I forgot to pull the darn thing off, so I had a whole face full of pins. But that's all right. We tagged him, and that's the important part. Oh, and there's Buck talking. Ooh, that white tail. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's up on over there. You see this little curve in the road here is real, real active around 7 a.m. And what I do is I actually work my way south down through this and then down towards the other camp. But I'm just sitting still here because I'm going to continue to call. I will eventually go and search for him. But I'm going to see if I can pull his pal back in here. Because I want him to... I want him to stop running and lay down. Because the, the more, if I just take off after him, well, he'll keep on running, and I'm going to be tracking him for 45 minutes. If I just sit here and continue to call, see if I might be able to, you know, talk another one in or, or whatever, he's only going to go to the next next active area, and then he's going to lay down. So it's worth just sitting here and seeing what we see. Now, some of the hunting tactics that I use, some of you may find unusual, and you may go, holy crap, you don't do that. Well, in conventional wisdom, many of the things that I do aren't functional, but here in this game environment, they are. You know, Likewise, there are some of these things that are very functional out there in the real world, it's just people don't realize it, because they're counterintuitive. you got to take it from the deer's perspective, not from a human perspective, and then from the deer's perspective, it's no longer counterintuitive. All right, I think his pals have pretty much cleared out. So we're gonna we're gonna go over here and pick up this track. There's that buck again. We're gonna just kind of be working our way towards him anyway as we go here. So I figure if we get a chance, we'll see if we can talk him. But this is our actual blood track over here. I can say you can give him a chance to get to running out of their system. Give them a chance to get the running out of their system. I'm going to leave that white tail be so if I do have another hunter come on, I can point them towards that hype white tail and hopefully right out of the gate they can they can go and get themselves a nice, sh nice shot on something. Because it would be pretty selfish for me to have just hit this wonderful, wonderful elk and then to turn around and go back and go after that white tail. Now if that them other elk could come back, well, that's a different story. I'm... I'm looking for some numbers on an elk today, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work picking him up because they like they like to change directions usually about two times right off the gate. So he's, he'll spin around and take off away from you, and once he's gone just a short distance, he'll he'll run to the left or run to the right. And that's real, not only real, real common here for elk in the game, but also very, very common for elk in, in real life. Their instincts tell them to shake the predator off their tail, you know. And so they like to double back as well. So that's why it's going to take a little while to pick up the, the initial track. Because we've got um, our mix of tracks up near the, the place where I shot. And also by milling around here, it'll keep that buck down in that loop. All right, so the odds are real high that we're going to find out that what he did is he took his own trail right straight back out again once he got clear of us. So we'll go up, and you see there are a lot of, a lot of tracks there, and odds are he's back on his own trail. Um, I like to set my tracking color either to kind of an obnoxious pink, or I like to set it to a, a really brilliant red. It depends. In here, that pink really jumps. All right, so this is his trail in. That's where we hit him right up the hill here. This, this is his second blood mark. That right there is the end of his trail where he came in, and this over here is probably going to be his next track going out because he's, like I say, see, he headed away from me and immediately broke left, and now he's following his own trail back. 
Um, I found it real, real consistent. What you doing hanging out so close, son? Where are you? Holy crap. You can come walk right up and shake hands with me, huh? Well, now... I may be funny looking, but I'm not a fool. may be funny looking, but I am not a fool. That wind's rolling right over to him. I'm just going to make doggone sure that my anti-smelly hasn't worn off here. That old boy, he's standing right there if I can just inch this way. I need a white tail with iron sights for a competition I'm in. And if he's going to walk right up and do that, or is that, a, or that the doe that's with him? Uh, nah, he's just a little fork, though. Going to throw him back, let him grow up. All right. I need to put my scope back on. I'm not going to waste the ammo or his life's blood just for a shot. There's plenty of opportunities to take a shot. All right, let's 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 get back to business here. Get over here a little bit so we can get on this track. There we go. Hello. Thank you kindly. Now we're on him. Yep. So he took his own trail back out. So every once in a while we're going to have to be careful so we don't get drug off to one side uh, following his original trail in. But with this, he's had plenty of time to get to running out of his system and, and mellow out. And we've got good blood here out to the to the third one. I hit him far back. I feel bad about that. I'd rather have taken a cleaner shot, but that other fellow was about to stick his horns right square in my back pocket, and it was shoot or let them both go. So I took the shot. I hopefully y'all will find that I'm one of them guys that when I miss, I just plain admit I miss. And I missed. Oh boy, was rolling up behind me on the one side. One was in front of me. I was all excited and thought it was time to shoot or lose them both. And I shot. And now I'm tracking. But this is part of the whole situation too. Now, if you look at the circle that's around our, my my central point there, you see that that that's uh, uh you know, like a, a dash, a broken line. That means he's a fair way out. So I'm actually going to start to jog. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. It just was much sooner than I was hoping. If you start to run, a lot of times they'll bugle. And there he is. That is indeed him. And if it isn't him, it's his best pal there. So we're going to stop with the running. Just keep... Even when you know right where you're going, I always take the time to, to check those tracks because it's it's experience. And the better your tracking gets, the better your tracking gets, the easier it is for you to pick up the animals that you're tracking, of course. And so it's it's worth the time. Because I know, I know pretty much which direction he's gone now because of his bugle, but I'd, I'd just as soon stay on his track. Get that experience. We're going to get him either way, and we ain't, we aren't going all that far. If I'd have been thinking, I'd have brought my camera with me, and I'd have snapped a picture of that little fork buck. Yeah. So that was indeed him we heard bugle. The reason I'm not running after him is I'm just waiting to see if he bugles again. In fact, uh, let's switch over to our elk, elk stuff here. Yeah, it's too bad that that was just a little fork buck, but honestly, I'm not one of them I'm out to kill everything kind of fellas. We'll track him slow, and if he doesn't call again... Oh, there he is, see? I was going to say, if he doesn't call again, well, then we'll just 
head straight for him. All right, let's drop the scent. Let's see if we can fool him twice. This is how I usually do it, with cover right in front of me, so that by the time he realizes I'm here, it's far too late for him. There we go. Come on up here and see me soon. Come on. I think that was actually the second one. I do, I do. I think it was the second one. See, that's what I was trying to do with the first one. Darn it. Well, let's creep on up here and, and find out. Yeah, when, when I struck him... The, the tracks we were following, see, they stopped being a dome. Now they're just an arc. That means this was that second elk. Well, I'm happy to have got the second elk, but... What a... Well, we'll have to see what we got here. There you go. Put it right up through there. Harvest at 172, and that's, that's respectable. That's respectable. He's certainly no champion, but our trophy integrity is 100% and our harvest value 100%. That means 100% usable meat, which makes me happy. It means I did it like a hunter, not like a target shooter. There we go. And you're probably all shocked that I didn't turn around and, and take a picture of him and everything, but I'm, I'm not interested in pictures. I'm interested in elk. <laughs> Now, if, if we was uh, hunting with another person, I'd definitely take the time to take pictures and stuff. But uh, I know what his score was. I saw him when I shot him. You know, I don't I don't need to make a spectacle of it. All right. That's our guy now. Let's get back on his trail. We're at about uh, 17 minutes here. I don't want this to run longer than 20 minutes. So hopefully we can pick him up here real quick. And I can sign us on out with a double success hunt. That first shot, like I say, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll be a gentleman about it. I shot hot because I thought I was going to lose them both. But that second one, by golly, that's the way it's supposed to go. But this is a truly amazing game. You know, even if it's free to play, uh, you know, you you can get a lot done. You can have a lot of fun. All right. No, I don't want that doe call, so I got to wait for that to clear my hunter mate. And I'm going to back off so I re-pick that up. There we go. Not worrying about does right now. All right, well, I'm going to stand back up and go to moving with a little more pace now. Once again, he's definitely gone out of the main area, and I don't want you guys to have to spend an hour watching me track a elk here. So, And this one, I'll, I'll, I'll follow the status quo or whatever they say, and I'll, uh, I'll actually take a picture with him. There he is. I figured he wasn't too far the way he was bleeding. I may have hit him far back, but by golly, this, this compound bow put it clear through him. There you are. Yeah. A little far back, a little high. But can't have them all be perfect. Not too shabby there, feller. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see what we got here. His harvest value is zero, but his trophy, trophy integrity is 100, and he's 165, so by golly, that's not that's not too shabby. Ah, I'm sorry, guys, I didn't take a picture again. I just, it's not my habit. It's not my habit. 
You know, people are like, oh, hey, hey, you didn't take a picture. Are you nuts? Well, I was here for the fun. I got a picture of that in my head for the rest of my life. I don't, but I'll try to get in the habit of taking pictures of my kills for y'all because I, like I say, I just kind of forgot. But we haven't seen a second hunter come, and I've had you guys with me here about 20 minutes. I'm sorry about this poor sound quality. My, uh, one, one, one of my critters, my cat, chewed on the, the bottom half of my microphone cord here. And, uh, Oh, another white tail. He chewed on the bottom half of my my microphone cord, and I ordered a replacement, and it was the wrong one. And in the meantime, this is the attachment that come with it for being able to talk on your cell phone. But the microphone's in the cord instead of in the microphone, so <laughs> it hangs down. I got it all wrapped up. I look like I'm going to take off in a jet fighter. But So sorry about that. I'll do what I can to fix it in post-production. But thank you for joining me, Kachi. Or as some of you know me, Delacaba, uh, for joining me on this elk hunt while we've been waiting for another player to come on. Little servers are I opened up here. Um, and uh, we got a couple of nice ones. See you again. Remember, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly.